Hey, how you doing? I was browsing the internet, I was looking across the internet, and I found this web page and it says that you can tell um, what foods are going to be good for different parts of the body by the way they look. You know, an the example they gave was you take a carrot and you cut the carrot through and it looks like an irid. And then because the uh, carrots are high in beta carotenes, uh, which precursors of vitamin A, then it's going to be good for your eyesight. All right? I thought, well, this is really interesting. So I got myself a, uh, a nutrition book and I got myself an anatomy book. And I thought, all right, let's just check this out. So thought, let's get a tomato. Got a tomato, had a look at it. I went through the um, anatomy book. Doesn't look like anything apart from like it may be a, you know, a bruise or something. And then I go, I know you've got to cut. So I, got, I cut the tomato through and there it is. You know, there's, there's four chambers. And then you look in the anatomy book, yeah, and you find that heart's got four chambers and they're both blood red. And so then, you, yeah, yeah, but then you've got to go to your nutrition book and you go through and what do um, tomatoes contain? They contain like lycopene. Lycopene is good for the heart. So there it is. But yeah, but the two's not proof, is it? So I thought, try grapes, 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 grapes. Just look through the anatomy book and there it is. They look like the alveoli of the lungs. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, sure. So we go to the nutrition book, look for um, grapes, and they contain antioxidants, powerful antioxidants that have been shown to you know, help with emphysema and lung problems. <gasps> there it is, once again. So I thought, well, let's try a nut this time. So let's get a walnut. So you get a walnut, yeah, we'll look at it. No, no, it doesn't look like much at all. Get a hammer, smash it. And on the inside, almost instantly, you see, it looks like the, like the brain. And then when you go back and look at the nut, yeah, there it is. There's the skull. You smash it, and inside you've got this, like a brain. So you go, yeah, yeah, okay, but don't get carried away. Let's check out the science. So you go to your nutrition book, the walnuts. Oh, they contain all these substances, which are actually really important for the production of healthy neurotransmitters in your brain. Now, this is pretty amazing. So I thought I'd continue, and so I thought, mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms, don't look like anything. Get a mushroom, you cut it through, it doesn't look like anything. Check your anatomy book, but then you cut it through this way. It's like, hmm, hold it on, so hey, it just well, looks like an ear almost. You know, if you really hallucinate, it looks like an ear. So let's test it out. Let's go back to our nutrition book. You go to the nutrition book. It says mushrooms are high in vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential for the growth of strong, healthy bones. But ears, bones, cartilage. Okay, let's check out the anatomy book. What do we find? There's bones in the ear. There's these little bones in the ear. All oh, right, so the mushroom provides vitamin D, which is essential for the growth of these little, performance of these little healthy bones. So you can hear well. That's pretty amazing. So I got really excited and I thought, papaya, pawpaw, pawpaw, papaya. Go okay, cut the papaya. Cut the papaya. What do they remind you of? What are the papaya? What are... Check the anatomy book. Nothing there. Uh, I might grab a couple of watermelons. Have a couple of watermelons, hold them to your chest, walk to the checkout, got these watermelons, you know, looking around, all the people, whatever. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, watermelons. Anatomy book. Ah, nothing, nothing. Ah, okay. Potatoes, potatoes. Got potatoes. Cut the potatoes. Ah, dirty things. Just rub off the dirt. Look at the dirt, look at them, what do they look like? Check the anatomy book. Oh, buttocks. They look like buttocks. Hey, does that mean to say that eat potatoes is going to give you a fat ass? <sighs> Let's go to our nutrition book. What's it say about potatoes? It says potatoes, starchy vegetables, cause weight gain and give you a fat ass. Isn't that incredible? Hey, it's just like, science, move over. 
psychic nutrition is here. So how far can we take this? So oysters, oysters. Let's take an oyster. What's an oyster look like? Go to an anatomy book. Uh, it smell like? God, it smells pretty bad. So it's fishy. Oh, it's real funny. What's it taste like? <gasps> oh my God. You mean that an oyster resembles a vagina? <gasps> I'm so embarrassed. Let's just go and check. Or a nutrition book. What does it say about vaginas? What does a nutrition book say about oysters? Oysters. Oysters. Yes, zinc and other substances which are really good for improving your sex drive. There it is. This gets really interesting, isn't it? And of course. But, you know, do we need like a psychic nutritionist to tell us? Because, you know, what I've noticed is people like this, you know, vegans, vegans, vegetarians, they try and come up with all these reasons why fruit and vegetables are good for you, you know, and they have to get, get deluded and fantasies. I mean, really, all you do, if you want to get something good for your muscle, go to the butcher, what looks like muscle, steak. No matter whether you chop, mince, whatever, it looks like muscle. What's something for your heart? Go to the offal section. There we are, sheep's heart. Got to be good for the heart. Check the nutrition book. Yep, there we go. Um, brains, if you can handle it. <laughs> Never eaten brains in my life. But you go to the nutrition book, it contains everything that a healthy, functioning brain needs. Is that really interesting? Hmm. Kidneys, steak and kidney pie. Take kidney, what are the kidneys? Yeah, they're going to be good for your health. So there we go. Fruit for brains or psychic nutrition. <laughs>